Yo, what's going on Vikings fans? I am in a great mood right now. And as you see by the title, Pat Elfline has been moved to IR. Just honored. I mean, listen, Vikings fans, if you didn't, I know the news broke yesterday. If you didn't pour one up yesterday for this news, it's Friday night. I think we all need to celebrate as Vikings fans because Elfline, he's on IR. Let's get it. Let's get after it. I'm going to be talking about it, that in this video today. I'm very excited about the move. Listen, I hope nothing for the best for Alphine. I don't hope anybody gets injured. However, I'm excited for the future of the Vikings now. Something to look forward to a ton on Sunday now. Anyways, guys, pet Alphine the IR. Let's celebrate. Let's talk about it. Let's get right into it. So, as we got the news yesterday, Alphine to IR. I think the Elfline to IR move is really good for the Vikings because, listen, he didn't really improve in game one. I feel like Elfline kind of had a leash on him. And after the Packers game, I think that leash was honestly pulled. Do I think he's actually injured? Yeah. But do I think he could play Sunday? You know, there's a little bit of me that thinks that. And I think the Vikings are just going to put him on IR, make another dude play. Now... Let's talk about who I think should play. I think there's two choices, and that's about it. It's Ole Uda and Ezra Cleveland. Now, Ezra Cleveland, you might be saying, all right, he was a left tackle. I knew there was talks about him going left guard, but right guard, like, that seems kind of uh, kind of bold to put a left tackle who played that throughout college all the way right guard. Listen, I'm a huge believer in offensive lines. You put the best five linemen on the field. Except for the center, that's the only exception because that's different. You got to call it everything. You got to see a lot. And, you know, you got to be a little more mobile. You got to also, like, deal with those big nose tackles. Center is, like, kind of the, I guess, the one that sticks out more. However, for the other four, left tackle, left guard, right guard, right tackle. I say you put out your four best linemen. And that's when I get a little upset with the Vikings because, honestly, if I was the coach right now, I would honestly probably go... I would realistically, if I wanted to make this offensive line right now from scratch for Sunday and we're rolling with it, I would probably go Cleveland at left tackle, Reef at left guard, Bradbury, Oliuda, Brian O'Neill. So with that being said, I think Oliuda, as of right now, should play right guard. Do I think he's better than Ezra Cleveland? I think it's a toss-up at this point because, yeah, everybody's got a little hype around Ezra Cleveland. He is a second rounder. It's not like he's like this high prospect. He, I mean, he was. I, I'm really excited to see him play. However, I want to see Ole Uda get out there. I mean, he's 6'8", or whatever he is. He's a big dude. He's massive. Put him at guard. Bring some physicality to this football team. And plus, plus in the NFL, I think a huge part is switching up your looks. And if you're going from a small, I guess, shifty guard and Pat Elfline, and then you throw in Ole Uda, or you th even Cleveland's big, you throw in one of those dudes at right guard, I think it's huge. I think that would just switch up the whole game plan because, listen, if you're a defensive tackle for the Buccaneer or for the Colts, think about DeForest Buckner right now on the Colts, by the way, which is going to be, I am very scared of him because uh, of after last year. Um, yeah, I'm terrified of him. Anyways, I think we switch it up. I think we go big offense line. Ole Uda at right guard. I think he would fit the scheme perfectly. I think, yes, he cannot move as well, but I think he would add a different dynamic, especially for Kirk, because, you know, Kirk was able to move a little bit on Sunday. And if you get these big linemen who are able to let him just sit there and let him step up, like he kind of showed last Sunday, he's not scared to step up anymore. Another thing that Vikings fans should be watching on Sunday However, I will be making a video about that on uh, things to watch for Minnesota Vikings fans on Sunday against Indianapolis Colts. Anyways, guys, Pat Elfman on the IR. I think we should go with Ole Uda. I think he's the best choice as of right now. And then if he flops, you got to throw Cleveland in there. I get it's right guard. Maybe throw some things around, especially if you lose this game. You really got to start getting experimental because, you know, we'll be 0-2. And most likely the Bears and Packers will be 2-0. and And that it's time to make some serious changes. Anyways, guys, I just want to say also, thank you so much for the support recently. You know, we I woke up and I had eight new subs on my phone, and honestly, it just means a lot. I love talking to you guys in the comments, and, you know, it was a goal for me to set out and hit 1,000. And we're two away from 500, and honestly, it just feels really, it just feels really good. So, I just seriously, person to person, you guys can go watch anybody else talk football, Vikings football, whatever. 
you guys come here and I seriously appreciate that I don't take it for granted I, I appreciate every sub I get anyways guys Oweuda, that's my choice to start a right guard another video coming out today on stuff we should watch for anyways guys leave a like on the video comment down below two subs away Let's see if you guys are the 500 sub if you're seeing this that could be you anyways guys thank you so much for watching skull vikes we're gonna get that dub on sunday i promise